Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo Tarot back again with another reading. This time it is a general reading for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for December of 2022. Again, that is a general reading for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for December of 2022. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me into the channel. It is much appreciated. So let's get into the reading. Okay, so as a split deck, y'all have the Page of Swords and the Sun Energy, okay? So, Divine Holy Spirit, what general messages do you have for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements? General messages, Spirit. As always, guys, take what resonates with you. Leave the rest for someone else. If it doesn't apply to you, let it fly, okay? All right. Four of Wands. Wow. Straight out the gate. The Nine of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups. The Four of Pentacles. The Fool card. Yeah. Y'all, some of y'all got a new beginning coming up. The Eight of Swords. But you're scared. You're questioning it. The Knight of Wands. The Hierophant and the King of Cups. Okay. Overall energy, the King of Swords is like you're making, you're walking in that Aquarius energy. Uh, King or Queen of Swords, take it how it resonates. You're making decisions that everyone may not agree with. Some people might be disappointed in the decisions that you're making within your life. But I feel like y'all have been in a melancholy state for far too long. And you've been dealing with other people's emotional baggage, which in turn has given you some type of emotional baggage and turmoil. But I feel like now Aquarius placements, you guys are turning the page on that and making the decisions that are best for you. You're you're standing up in that king or that queen of swords energy. Take it how it resonates for you. Okay, overall though, I feel like in you making being able to make decisions about what it is you want to do with your life you're gaining stability not only within yourself but within your own personal home life i feel like some people might not understand the moves that you're making but i feel like you're doing what's best for you okay with the nine of pentacles some of y'all that may be cutting ties with a particular relationship whether it be a romantic or a familiar relationship that wasn't serving you and wasn't meeting your needs i mean it gave you a certain type of stability in certain in a certain way and then another way it held you back emotionally whatever type of relationship that is only you would know for some of y'all it could be cutting ties with a romantic partner somebody in your family or your friendship group something in that relationship dynamic no matter what type of relationship it was it was not fulfilling for you and i feel like a lot of y'all are moving away from that energy with the eight of cups it's not that relationship whatever type of relationship it was wasn't benefiting you emotionally okay i feel like for some of y'all y'all are guarded because of the energy that w that you've experienced in that particular relationship for some of y'all this is with a sibling or a close relative like mother father sister brother uncle whoever okay they made you feel guarded they made you feel like you weren't good enough it's like maybe some of y'all literally felt like you had to guard your emotions guard your wallet guard, guard your purse while you were around them and there wasn't the type of relationship that you wanted with them you wanted a stable loving uh open relationship in, in regards to your emotions for some of y'all with your significant other or spouse take how it resonates for you you thought it was a significant soulmate or whoever or you thought you was going to marry this person but it turned out to be a, a relationship to where you were giving more than they were and it made you feel in turn turn feel emotionally damaged uh guarded with your finances for some of y'all guarded with your feelings and you're just exiting stage left or right whichever stage you gotta whichever exit door you gotta use you're gonna use it to get out of that particular situation 
I feel that for a lot of my Aquarius placements with the full energy, you're going to take that leap of faith, even though you're scared to death to do whatever, to leave whatever type of situation you're going through that's causing you this kind of emotional turmoil. You're going to leave, okay? Uh, but for some of y'all, y'all might feel guilty about it. You might feel guilty for doing something that is beneficial to you. That might be outside influences telling you you shouldn't leave this relationship even though they don't know what you experienced behind closed doors with this particular person it might be someone telling you you shouldn't cut ties with this friend because you've been friends with them or or a particular friendship group for so many years and they just thought that dynamic would go on forever maybe they don't know the intricacies of the relationship whether it be a romantic relationship a familiar relationship or a platonic friendship they don't know that maybe you were the one doing all the giving and the other person was doing all the taking and they never quite understood uh what you needed emotionally it was all about them i feel like this is how you got trapped in a particular situation and for some of y'all y'all felt like y'all couldn't go anywhere y'all couldn't do anything you couldn't even leave you felt like you were trapped like you couldn't you had to stay in a, uh, like I said, in a, in a relationship or a friendship, or you had to stay because, hey, this is your blood. This is your family. You have to deal with them. Nobody said that. You can, you know, speak your peace and move on. Sometimes the people that are closest to you can do the most harm to you uh, physically, emotionally, psychologically. So some of y'all are learning that, and it's been a rough battle and a rough go for you with the Eight of Swords there, feeling like you were trapped and stuck. But I feel once y'all release y'all self from the, the ties that you have, especially the ones to where you know it's one-sided, you know that, hey, you that person can call on you at any time uh, for anything, but it's not necessarily equally yoked. I feel like y'all coming to that understanding and you're you're not going to feel any bones about it. You're not going to feel a type of way about it anymore. You're just going to follow your path. You're going to embrace the freedom that spirit is giving you and you're going to move forward. For some of y'all, this is freedom on your spiritual path. Uh, being centered within yourself and knowing that spirit has your back, even though other people think you're strange, think you're weird for like making certain decisions, like I said before, that they wouldn't make that's cool for them they don't have to make the decision you're on your path just like they're on their journey and you choose the journey of healing forgiveness but choosing healing and forgiveness doesn't mean that you allow the same people to take advantage of you like they did before a lot of people have that twisted and have that confused but i feel like you're coming to that awareness and that awakening and you're making the decisions that are best for you aquarius placements okay for a lot of y'all Y'all are diving deep into your emotions and figuring out why you allowed certain things to go on for as long as they did in your relationships. Like I said, work relationships, romantic relationships, your familiar relationships, your your um, friendships. You're really taking a uh, diving deep into that and trying to see how you can become how you can heal that first of all and how you can become more open to the right types of energies not toxic vampire like energies for some of y'all y'all were dealing with an energy vampire and people the people around you could not see that you had an energy vampire boss a significant other a romantic partner for some type of friend or even a family member that's close like brother sister mother aunt uncle dad whoever this person was that was causing you to feel like hey i gotta cut myself off from this particular person because they're draining me they're causing all type of drama they're emotionally putting you through the ringer and you you weren't with it anymore so i feel like y'all left okay and you're following your own path now even though it took a lot for you guys to do that so let's see here. Divine Holy Spirit. What additional message or messages do you have for my Aquarius summarizing and Venus placements for their general reading for December of 
Okay, let's have a look at here. Okay, y'all got two, so I'm gonna take them. Some of y'all need to get grounded. Okay, so the first one was close encounters. So for a lot of y'all, spirit is going to bring, like I was saying before, the right type of energies into your life, the right type of job, the right type of people into your life that you can be open emotionally with, that you can grow with, that you can transform with. I feel like a lot of y'all have felt caged in the past. Eight of Swords energy, you see that butterfly within the cage. I really feel like y'all didn't know certain relationships were not going to be with you long term, uh, even though that was your intention and maybe that person or those people's intention as well. But I really feel like y'all had a hard time of letting go of the ties that bound you or that have bound, binded, I can't talk y'all, that have held you captive in the past. What, well, like I said, whether it be certain relationships, whether they be romantic, be with your, your significant family members, or even your friendship groups. I feel like for some of y'all, people were around you stifling your energy because maybe they might have been low-key jealous of you. Maybe there were some people that didn't want you to grow because they knew as you moved forward and flourished and, and grew that they couldn't go along that path with you because they weren't willing to change. So for a lot of y'all, y'all have completed that step, okay? And you're moving forward. Uh, for a lot of y'all, one thing that you need to have is a spirit of gratitude. A lot of y'all have it. And as a result of that, you're going to be, like I said, aligning with things that are for you and leaving behind the things that no longer serve you. Having a spirit of gratitude, an attitude of gratitude will get you a long way. Be thankful for the little things that you have in your life, Aquarius placements. As you can see, the more that you are grateful, you will be able to see that the more that you are grateful for the things that you have, the more that of those that you will get and you will align with the abundance that is already surrounding you. OK, it was just waiting for you to tune in and tap into that frequency. OK, so those are all of the messages that I have for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.